should be streaming. Let's check this out. And we are very nice, very nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel, live stream channel. And today is June 8, 2019, and we're doing an open discussion on current events, news, politics, economics, investing, and anything type of news and information that's hitting your radar. And it is an open discussion, so sometimes the conversations take us this way, that way, straight up, down, left, right, all over the place. And sometimes we just talk about comic books, books in general. Um, or whatnot. Aside from that, uh, it's uh, 7 30 a.m. <laughs> West Coast Canada time, Pacific time. Uh, so it's early morning for me. Um, early evening, late afternoon for our friends in Europe. Uh, morning in North America and uh, South and Central America. And uh, across to the Middle East, it's 12 hours ahead if we go straight across to Iran I guess so there are 7 30 uh, p.m. in the evening and uh, Australia 18 hours ahead 18 hours ahead I believe so they're like 1 30 <laughs> 1 30 a.m. and if you're in Australia watching this on a Saturday evening at 1 30 a.m. Uh, salutations uh, across the Middle East good evening in Europe good afternoon in North America South and Central America good morning how are you doing are you excited about what's going on in the world so we're gonna chill for a bit until people roll in curious how are you doing Virginia in the house Good morning, Startsky. How are you doing, sir? Doing well, doing well, Startsky. Great lasagna. Good morning to you as well, brother. Good morning. I've been going crazy mad since yesterday. I edited for I don't know how many hours yesterday. <laughs> uh, Clendon Storm, thank you very much for the bits, brother. Thank you very much for the cheers and support. Appreciate it. Good morning, Chicho. Jingle bells. 10 a. 10:30 a.m. here, East Coast USA. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Catch some food and come back. Go get some food. We're gonna be here for a couple of hours. Startsky. Yeah, I didn't think you were from the USS. <laughs> Jingle bells, USA. Some morning tea. Some morning tea. I already had my. Uh, I got up early. Uh, I was editing until about 1 30 in the morning last night with the video uh, that we're doing for our 700th video on uh, Virginia here too oh you got two people from Virginia cool um, the next video we load on YouTube our uh, early bear change oh, I can't for some reason for the last I don't know I, I know why personally uh, but I'm I'm waking up early like I sleep maybe four to five hours a night right and if I'm really excited getting a lot of stuff done sometimes I go a few days where I'm sleeping like two to three hours <laughs> and you get sort of a nice just lack of sleep and functioning on that full capacity you get a nice buzz on right and you sort of get into a sort of a zone i guess it's like gaming or whatever it is right but you the game you're playing is what you're doing in life the sun rises early maybe your uh, uh serotonin i think rhythm uh, no wait a second circadian rhythm circadian rhythm curious Devin. i don't know about the circadian uh, rhythm but i i sort of do this in the winter too so <laughs> it's <laughs> I uh, mind you in the spring because we're com coming on to the longest day of the year right June 21st is the longest day of the year so during this period I do get up a little bit earlier like five o'clock was a little late for me this morning because I was I was editing until like 1 1 30 
don't you have uh, consistent work hours uh, my consistent work hours during the school year are based on my students so I kick it up uh, sort of people that I see uh, after school usually uh, but then I also do distant learning or homeschooling kids and they're in the mornings and it switches up and I sort of uh, when I start working with someone with new clients and stuff like this we adjust our schedule or I adjust my schedule to meet their schedule right because initially when I work with someone they usually need a fair bit of boost to get them caught up to where they can be where because my first order of business when I work because uh, I sort of tutor mathematics and teach and what I do is not really not really only teaching mathematics that's not my main focus really when people ask me I teach I teach my students how to learn how to teach themselves right that's what I try to do so I give them the tools that they need so initially there's I adjust my schedule to meet their schedule and then slowly we work together uh, and I need to see them less and less and it's more fine-tuning right and when you're fine-tuning when you learn how to learn when you're teaching yourself right educate yourself that's the first something I mentioned I think at least once in the first math video I ever put out with me being in front of the camera right and I really meant that right but basically what happens is once you learn how to learn once you get into your rhythm right there's no sense of urgency not as much anyway when you're trying to do catch-up so all of a sudden your schedule your time becomes more flexible so to long-winded answer uh, don't you have consistent work hours to a certain degree but open and for me I can I I get up early I sometimes usually go, go to bed late but one thing I've been able I've taught myself how to do if I need to sleep if I put my head down I go to sleep sometimes I'm asleep within seconds of requiring sleep okay. it's just the way the way uh, uh, I function or have functioned for a while sometimes I feel like I'm at I'm I am I am part of the sleepless elite as they call it uh, as they call it function just as well on three hours sleep yeah yeah I've, I've known many people general balls I know many people who can't do this and personally uh, I've gone through periods in my youth that I probably wasn't able to do this right I think one of the things that really kicked me into this type of mindset was doing geophysics because geophysics waits for no one like you need to do when you need to do when the helicopter arrives on the pad they give you a, they give you a time slot where if you're getting picked up by helicopters dropped off and they start as soon as when you're doing field work geophysics as soon as it's uh, bright enough to see I think it's dusk, uh, dawn helicopter starts picking dropping picking off uh, picking up dropping off right so when you're in the field if you're working in a camp or something like this or on a ship or whatever it is uh, they give you a time slot your crew helicopters picking up at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> you got to be on the pad to get picked up to dropped off and then they arrange to pick you up at another time and stuff right so it's fun it's fun but the sleepless sleepless elite sleepless elite and there's something brilliant about staying awake all night and watching the sun rise right it's awesome awesome skywalker hey chicho how are you doing this morning doing fantastic skywalker doing fantastic I've been reading uh, Dante how are you doing good morning uh, just in regards to uh, Skywalker because Star Wars and whatnot uh, I picked up the one dollar uh, true believers uh, stuff and they put out some Star Wars stuff and I'm reading some of them they're pretty good the newer Star Wars stuff I read the first appearance of uh, Thon Thrawn and that was really good I like that character uh, tank how's it going how's life welcome to a stream 
what are we in we're about 10 minutes in people have rolled in nice 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 in terms of uh what our stream is about open discussion on current event gang uh, current events news politics economics investing technology entertainment even right <laughs> it is current i watched uh by the way i uh i watched captain marvel right uh the action scenes were it was one of the better marvel movies that have been put out uh less their serious supposed to be emotional dialogue which to me was it wasn't very good but the action scenes the special effects uh the way they told the story i love the way the story unfolded that was very good and jude law i think was one of the the villains so uh he did a good job uh, from the Cree. Uh, i didn't mind it but i found the dialogue to be uh, walt disney okay after that i watched the uh, um, blind spotting the dialogue you compare the writing and blind spotting to the writing in captain marvel right like blind spotting they told an amazing story and captain marvel again it told a fantastic story the way it unfolded i love the way they told the story really but the script the dialogue was for captain marvel was very disney very juvenile to a certain degree and then you watch blind spotting and the dialogue the way a story unfolds and the dialogue and the rhythms and the rhymes and the lyricists and phew, amazing sleep is a crucial part uh, in the healthy development of long-term memories yeah and health and re uh, rejuvenating right if you're injured you need sleep to be able to uh, to be able to heal right um and that's one of the reasons they induce coma if someone's in serious trauma and they've been injured and they're on the they're on the boundary of passing and living uh hospitals they induce coma for a long time for the body to heal right uh, in terms of uh, sleep is a crucial part in the healthy development of long-term memory yeah yeah but again how much does how much sleep does each person need i know some people require way more sleep than i do and i've known people who require even less uh, intrepid good morning good morning chicho i'm graduating from high school this afternoon yeah awesome Con uh, congratulations man congratulations how does it feel it must feel liberating I know it did for me if you know if if you're if you're watching this if you've graduated that's the one word I would I would say it was liberating it was just like god damn that took forever right why am I here this long <laughs> I want out. mind you you can have an amazing time in high school and is chapters closing by the way intrepid the odds are majority of people that you've been into your interacting with throughout your school life you will not interact with again okay you might for a few weeks or a couple of months two or three months uh the odds are a lot of them will part you'll part ways which is not a bad thing you're making room to introduce new people into your life right so don't be afraid to, uh, to let go of friendships don't throw them away but don't be afraid to let go of the friendships um, if they're uh, if they're stuck and they're holding you back or you're holding them back or whatever it is right because you can let it go and then they might come back those friendships might come back stronger and whatnot that's the good part never having to see many of them again <laughs> that's funny sloth man prophecy i tend to sleep around eight to nine hours a day and people mention my long-term memory quite often so that's interesting to hear cool wow early to rise chicho zare good morning 
I'm just getting off for work now. Cool, cool. You're working on a Saturday. You're working with some uh, kids. Yeah, I guess you're you know, the kids would be volunteering. I think you're volunteering or working uh, with the youth, right? So Saturday is a good time to do, especially after you uh, marry and have children. They're gone forever. <laughs> the, the friends. <laughs> toasty, toast. Day. Toast day. Toast day. Thank you very much for the Twitch uh, Prime sub. I appreciate it. Great lasagna. I graduated from high school last year and I've never felt a freer. Yeah. That's the word I would use free. Uh, liberating. Right? You just. You can breathe. You don't have. You don't have the potential of a boot stomping on your neck. If you say the wrong thing or step out of line or test boundaries or get into conflicts, right? Skywalker, when I graduated high school, uh, the person who took my graduation photo before I walked across the stage decided not to tell me part of my <laughs> tassel was in my face. It was great. <laughs> Dangling. <laughs> Hilarious. And what a ritual, what an absurd, what an absurd ritual. Put on the gowns, wear the hat, move this thing, this is rope dangling from here to here. Talk about a cult, uh, ritualistic uh, sort of ceremony, right? With these grand poopas sitting up there telling you how life should be. Meanwhile, majority of them or many of them, if you know them in person or interacted with them, they're you know for the most part they're having as much conflict in their lives as you might be or someone else might be right they have wise words some of them some of them not so wise words so uh, when you're graduating uh, take everything everyone says with a grain of salt including what what we say here of course right always always question always question always question it's a good way to be it's a good way to be and don't chase the ferrari <laughs> unless unless you really want to really want it badly very very badly and don't chase it forever i may be ex uh, exiting from this uh, prison but after high school i will be joining the marines so that will be an exercise in mental fortitude dude good luck uh do not compromise it, it's hard to it's hard to say intrepid but uh, do not compromise yourself for and your beliefs and your humanity for the sake of duty okay that's the only advice i would have for you brother i wish you the best i really do i hope it goes well great lasagna i couldn't stand that ritual it was filled with bs and it took forever i just wanted to party after <laughs> uh, chase jean jesse chase jesse replying sloth yes neuroscientists found the part of your brain that stores memory the hippo hippocampus becomes active whilst at sleep thanks a lot brother appreciate it my pleasure man my pleasure and uh, just uh, this one thing regarding the hippo uh, academus okay and sleep and uh, long-term memory and health how that's all related to your rest period and allowing the mind to uh, to go into places that it can access in deep sleep in REM mode and deep sleep state that's one place entheogens play a huge role uh, or have played a huge role uh, in with humanity for tens of thousands of years right and that is one thing we are seeing being rejuvenated uh coming back into our lives 
with the end of America's war on drugs, right? On entheogens, plants. Uh, so, there are ways to achieve that state, that restful period where your hippo hippocampus is becoming active without the six, seven, eight, nine hours sleep, where you can reach that state either through meditation, through uh, ancient rituals, through food, drink, and whatever it might be. It's just something that was, as Robert Anton Wilson would say, we are just now coming out of the dark ages. We'll see where we go. We'll see where we go. Fun. Fun. <laughs> There's a lot going on, gang. There's a lot going on. It's beautiful. It's an amazing time to be witnessing all this. Chicho, since we mentioned graduation, may I ask you for some guidance? I'll give you my opinion. I'll, I'll answer you straight out, Lasagna. Uh, but good morning, Utah Jazz. How are you doing? But uh, take what I say, uh, my words, with a huge grain of salt. Okay. My perspective, my experience might not apply to you and your life and your experience and where you want to be and how you want to interact okay so that's my disclaimer uh, okay but for sure i'll i'll give you what i think straight up man i know all of this because i watched a ted talk on it recently <laughs> did you <laughs> nice ted talks i've watched a lot in the past uh, when they first hit the hit the hit my radar when they first came out really because <laughs> i'm trying to stay on top of things right uh there's some amazing stuff on ted talks uh, but you have to go deeper than ted talks ted talks is 15 20 minutes right sometimes you know 10 minutes 10 to 20 minutes or something like this right there's a lot more to what's being shared in 10 to 20 minutes uh, some of it brilliantly so there's a lot more information to be had some of it when you look into it it's bs right so take ted talks with a grain of salt there's good stuff there phenomenal stuff there there's also a lot of bs there okay there's a lot of propaganda there there's a lot of garbage there there's a lot of imperialism there there's a lot of uh, corporatism there there's a lot of military industrial complex programming there Anna, good morning how are you doing brother <laughs> i think the quality of the ted talks has declined it, it did i stopped watching them i haven't watched ted talks for god i don't know four years five five years i don't know i haven't watched ted talks if i see something on ted talks that piques my interest i'll go to duck, duck, go and search for a lecture something longer or if i really not sure i watch it for a few minutes or but i haven't seriously i haven't gone through a full ted talks talk for a while not that i can recall anyway sorry so i rarely uh smoke cannabis <laughs> i rarely so, so sorry says so cool i rarely smoke weed but i've been having trouble sleeping so i purchased some indica oil i accidentally took way too big of a hit and basically got stoned for two days <laughs> yeah don't do that uh, but my girlfriend and I had a really great conversation I didn't sleep well but it allowed me to be more receptive to her that's cool that's cool yeah the effects of cannabis are very huge and one thing uh, regarding cannabis and sleep because we we're talking about sleep and the hippoca hippocampus the mind and long-term memory and stuff like this the thing with cannabis is this cannabis cannabis uh, I'm not sure if indica oil indica oil would do the same i don't know if uh cbd has this effect i've, I've taken cbd drops as well They're very very little i haven't experimented too much with that uh, but cannabis obviously is legal in canada so uh, i have experimented with it or it is here 
in Canada legally, right? How about uh, where your munchies, not, no food left at home? That was funny, curious. Um, but regarding cannabis, cannabis reduces your dreams, okay? Where I mentioned before, when where you can act. Uh, activate the hippocampus and get into that deep state mind through entheogens because certain entheogens increase your dream state in a big way huge way right cannabis has the other other effect cannabis reduces dreams okay so if you're lacking dreams in your life and dreams are amazing okay uh, it's a good thing to uh, to have a handle on what you're consuming because uh, if you reduce your consumption of cannabis or end your consumption of cannabis you will notice that your dream state kicks up huge huge some people their dreams might be a little bit too intense for them to have restful sleeps and I believe that's one of the reasons why cannabis helps people sleep but if it's kicking you into a state where you're not dreaming at all, you should look into that. Okay. And regarding munchies and cannabis, the kicker with munchies and cannabis is this. The munchies kick in for about 15, 20 minutes. If you eat then, you will want to continue to eat. If you refrain from giving into your munchies, from personal experience and from other people that I've seen um, the munchies won't persist okay they won't persist they'll um, they'll go away okay I feel like uh, the alt left is indoctrinating parents to raise their uh, kids I guess to be transgender by confusing them uh, psychologically to think they are girls by making them play with dolls so wrong and sad uh hannah uh, i think boys or girls if they want to play with dolls let them play with dolls let, let kids play with whatever they, it is they want to play i think a lot of the stuff we're seeing uh regarding transgender and identity politics and cp and stuff like this is corporate mainstream media driven ultimate purpose i you know you can take a wild guess yourself one of their one of their purposes is uh is censorship right so i don't buy into the hype factor of what's what's going on i don't think parents are um are participating in this on mass i i don't think that's happening and i'm not seeing it anyway parents are just most parents that I've, I've seen, and I see a lot of parents, like really, I've interacted with a lot of families. Majority of parents that I've met, like 99% plus of parents that I've met, right? They're under pressure for sure because the life that we have in Canada and the United States is a lot of pressure. But all of them that I've met have wanted the best for their kids. They want to prepare them for what's coming, what they have to deal with. And a lot of them understand that what their kids are dealing with is grander, is different than what they were dealing with. And very few of them that I've ever met, I, I can't even recall any of them, that have bought into this BS corporate media stuff. That's from my experience. As I said, Lasagna says, as I said, I've never felt so free before. But with that freedom came a huge lack of purpose in my life. There's so much pressure from society on what I should do. And I usually brush it off. I always try to follow the path of what makes me happy. But still, every day feels like a day wasted. I've never been so unproductive. And lasagna, uh, first thing you've got to do when you graduate high school is my, uh, my advice is... Uh, by the way, I forgot that. I, I think that was your thing. Uh, so my advice here, uh, is there another question? Lasagna. So I'm going to talk to Lasagna. I'll catch up with chat soon. Okay. Uh, here's the thing, Lasagna. You're not alone. Every kid feels this, right? 
I think you've posted a couple more things, Lasagna. Did you? No. Okay. Every every kid feels this. Every human being feels this. And it's not just kids. Even uh, when you're in your early 20s, when you graduate university, you feel this. When you finish a certain job and move on from one co company to another company, you feel this. Not as large as when you're, when you're a teenager coming out of high school, right? But here's the thing. The first thing that anybody coming out of high school needs to do before they can sort themselves out is realize that for the last 12 years of your life you've been indoctrinated you have been played with manipulated you have been programmed to think in a certain way so as soon as you come out of high school my advice is this okay make sure you're you, you realize what personal finance is manage your money because if you're not managing your money managing your finances you're getting into debt you're relying on other people to take care of you you don't have freedom so you just can't came out of a 12 year period where you had no freedom right six hours a day right you were dictated bell rings move on move along listen sit down sit up straight uh, stop do homework come back you fail you bop, 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 right 12 years of that you're out what should you do first order of business make sure you have your freedom that means if you need to get a job start making money start realizing what it means to make money and to spend your own money figure out your budget how much money do you need to live the life you want to live the way you want to live at that moment okay double it so if you think you need fifteen hundred dollars nah, not double it if you're if you're a teenager you don't have to double it when you're older you need to double it when you're doing a budget whatever you come up with double it right figure out how much money you need to live to pay rent to hopefully you have family so you don't need emergency money right away right that you can rely on parents and family and whatnot right because you're a kid you just came out of high school man you, even in your early 20s you're you're a kid really i thought i wasn't i thought i wasn't a kid when i was a kid and teenagers right i can honestly tell you at least in your early 20s up to your early 20s you still don't know what's what makes the world go around not even close okay finance wise anyway so make sure you reach a level where you're paying your own way that buys you freedom don't go into huge debt because if you're going to debt that means you're servicing that debt. that means a certain amount of your money is going towards paying somebody else Get your finances together what buys you your freedom and then and then like if you're going to school go to school that's fine right but during that period that you're getting your finances together start educating yourself that means realize that the history of the world that you have been taught for the last 12 years in high school there's a fair bit of it which is in which is incorrect it is propaganda learn about that history okay realize that the mathematics you were taught in those 12 years of high school if you didn't do well if you just got by right you need to teach yourself you need to learn math become literate in the language of mathematics realize that in those 12 years if you didn't did not excel in the your first personal language okay your natural language if you're not well versed in it if you cannot write an essay expressing your feelings your opinions either on a creative writing level or on a scientific level where you're presenting data learn your natural language okay learn how to write a sentence learn how to write a paragraph learn how to write an essay okay so you're buying your freedom getting your freedom making sure you're responsible for yourself while you still have a safety net slowly start building a little bit of savings and realize what it means to invest okay 
Learn your history, learn mathematics, learn your natural language. The rest of it will come. Okay, that's your first order of business when you come out of high school. Everything else is secondary. Uh, other than family, of course, and all this jazz, right? We put a personal finance video together where some of the things are important. Health is important and stuff. But in terms of what you need to do, those are the things you need to do. My two cents. I hope it doesn't uh, go bad. I will call it medicinal cannabis from here on out, not medical marijuana. Awesome. And I would, I would change that, Hannah, uh, personally. I don't call it medicinal anymore because it doesn't necessarily need to be medicinal right it's what you're choosing as a human being to include into your life it is cannabis what the fuck are you on about that <laughs> first of all all children don't become transgender from playing with different toys yeah dante's on it you thought jazz agree hannah uh, and second of all, 95% of the cases where someone is made to play with certain toys, it's bigoted parents forcing their children to play with toys of the gender the child was assigned. Up. Uh, I agree with Dante on this, right? Unfortunately, uh, we're well, we are coming out of the dark ages, which is fortunately, but unfortunately, a lot of there's a lot of preconceived notion of what. Uh, what we're supposed to be all right intrepid wish i could stay but i got to go off to uh ceremonies oh dude happy ceremonies next time we stream i'll be free man haha <laughs> have a good day my friend good day to you as well intrepid good day to you too congratulations uh Hannah, but they force them and make them think they're they're girls i don't think so Hannah. most parents don't want don't but i ran across a couple that uh, that did it uh, they ruined their children multiple children that's an anomaly hannah there are anomalies in this world okay do you please explain what they, they did i'm actually curious this is going to be hilarious <laughs> okay. i might start skipping that conversation dante and hannah i'm just letting you guys know i'm jumping that good luck trip it enjoy the day uh Aldous now 92 hey Chicho hope you're doing well can you tell me what your opinion is on YouTube taking down white supremacists and conspiracy theory channels I think it's ridiculous I think I think uh, censorship is one of the most horrendous things happening in our world right now it's detrimental to uh, he, humanity to our civilization to where we need to go uh, where we have to be right that's one of the reasons I'm doing this live streams we're calling them current events politics news whatever it is but this is just basically my uh putting in two hours either weekly or once a week or once a month most likely we might kick it out kick it down to once a month right because i've personally i figured out what's where we're anyway we'll we'll talk about this but it's basically opening up the platform where people can talk we can discuss things uh, maturely right sometimes we get trolls coming in we have to ban them we have to time them out right they're children they don't understand there could be plants uh made to you know here to create discourse uh, not discourse uh, contempt and uh, create chaos right but we need platforms where we can talk and express our ideas and and be challenged right because as soon as you express your opinion if you're talking bs you're gonna get burned for it right and uh, i expect you guys if i talk bs if i got my data wrong if i'm quoting the wrong person the wrong event and I, i'm confused about whatever i think challenge me burn me provide me with the data correct me improve my opinion that's what it's all about censorship is ridiculous okay censorship is the part of that 12 years of programming going through high school anybody that is cheering anyone else being silenced for expressing their views opinions ideas mis misguided ideas whatever they might be they're wrong period okay if someone's misguided you keep on silencing them they're gonna start looping things and think you know 
ridiculous stuff is happening they go into loops of the color red is evil and the color blue is good and just this crap right but when once they start talking it's like a floodgate for a dam right if every dam in the world this is engineering right every dam in the world has some has something built in it called a floodgate okay and the floodgate is this here's the dam and there is tunnels here basically places where if the water rises too high the engineers the people taking care of the dam right your conscience right if pressure is building too high they go hey the pressure's too high the wall is going to break the person's going to crack he's going to lose it or they're going to lose it right so what they do they open up this gate and they drain out a lot of water all right sometimes during flood seasons they have to drain a lot of water so downstream places get flooded but the wall remains right because the last thing you want to do is have the wall break on you because if the wall breaks on you it is extremely difficult to build that up again when someone has cracked it is very difficult to make them whole again okay just imagine on the simplest term a heartbreaking right so every human being has a wall pressure builds pressure builds if you're not able to release that pressure and figure things out give yourself time to realize what's happening and if you need to build the wall higher you build it higher if you need to fortify it, you fortify whatever it is if you don't have time to do that if censorship kicks in and says you can't use a floodgate right you can't do that you can't release the pressure people crack that is what censorship is we need to realize what's going on that's my opinion and i don't man i disagree with a lot of people those who been following me you know uh, i disagree with the the extremes right YouTube has apparently labeled and deleted channel uh, channels white supremacists which were actually not white supremacist channels at all it's an unfortunate abuse of control it, that's centralization of power once you centralize power you're in a totalitarian state it's a dark dark road it might like look bright and fluffy at first but you're going dark very very fast I still don't feel like an adult <laughs> either do I <laughs> But isn't that a way uh, to hedge inflation? Yes, to a certain degree. If you want to participate in our current economic system, which is on the teeter totter, on the verge of collapse, and it's going to burn a lot of people. My thing is be careful about what economic system you participate in. Your first order of business, make sure you're stable before you go full out. One of the things you could say, uh, Curious Devin, is our current economic system is not about how much money you have in the bank, but how much money you have access to, how much debt you can accumulate, right? That's the age of Trump, right? Not really. That's the end result of it, right? It's just debt that people function on. Do you want to be that? Do you want to lead that kind of life? You have to ask yourself that, right? personally i don't right personally i don't because where that has led to is bankers control everything people say i bought a house you didn't buy a house you went into debt to the bankers because they own your house right oh i put a down payment of fifty thousand dollars on a five hundred thousand dollar house i bought a house <laughs> uh, you didn't buy a house you bought four hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of debt and in our current present economic system that house wasn't really worth five hundred thousand dollars that house is probably worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars right so if you sell your house you're still two hundred fifty thousand dollars in or two hundred thousand dollars in debt All right be careful with that right now be very very careful with that right now maybe if it's spread across all consumers evenly but if i 
if too much builds up at an uh, individual level then that's where problems begin maybe it's spread across all consumers i'm not sure what that refers to nicholas how are you doing hey you're back in the states glad i caught this even though i'm a bit late slept most of today to recover from travel how's everyone nicholas welcome back to north america and uh, i believe so okay i'm gonna jump that u.s history in regards to western expansion pretty much all uh buys proper and glorifying christian manifest destiny purifying the land and what and what not yeah there's history uh, if you're interested in history never ever read the history published by the people you're interested in from one side of the picture if you're interested in middle eastern history for example read people that represent israel jordan syria saudi arabia read the history coming out of each country that you're interested in each party participating in that history to get a better picture of what's going on thanks chicho that's a precious piece of advice you actually inspired me awesome lasagna uh you can catch up with chat now okay awesome okay i'm pretty close catching up with chat nice uh why are some good uh low tax investments what are some good ones are they all high risk low tax no they're not all high risk Hannah. uh in canada united states one way you can have you can write off taxes is start your own company and it doesn't have to be incorporated or a partnership because in canada it's called sole proprietorship and i don't know if there's equivalent forms in the united states something that you're interested in doing and write off your salary against this company if the company does well this is what our canada united states that's what that's what the basis of our current economic system is this is what the government wants right because it gives you growth take your salary that you're earning take a chunk of that and put it into your own company your own hobby if you want to think about it but think about it as a company and hopefully in the long run if you really enjoy it and if it's something productive and something that contributes to our society that people really want it'll start making money and now you're contributing back to the economic system so whatever you wrote off against your salary went to a good cause right there's tons of ways to do this stuff man love the damn analogy curious Devin says uh, I'm just curious what your view is on someone like Alex Jones I personally think he's unstable with some crazy ideas but I would love to hear your opinion he's an entertainer right he entertains whatever you want to call it I don't know I don't listen to him I don't watch him I don't like him personally I don't know him personally right it, it's whatever to me Alex Jones is I don't care I think of Alex Jones the same way I think of Rachel Maddows like they're both garbage <laughs> right? like seriously Rachel Maddows Alex Jones uh, who's it Bill O'Reilly Bill Maher garbage like why why is Alex Jones any different than Bill Maher I've heard Bill Maher say which things that are racist violent vile disgusting I've, I've heard him defend pedophiles I've heard him defend murder I've heard him defend genocide has Alex Jones done that I don't know I haven't really watched Alex Jones too much but from what I understand Alex Jones doesn't defend pedophiles right the problem is that if you allow censoring of conspiracy theories you allow the powers to censor anything they want 100 percent centralization of power racer kill right and conspiracy theory there's laws on the books people have been sent to jail laws in the books in the court system in the united states canada and most western countries where they charge people for conspiring to do something they're charging them for a conspiracy right how could you censor conspiracy that means you're censoring the law how can you censor law if you're censoring law you're in a totalitarian state as a dictatorship get out <laughs> censorship is ridiculous the word conspiracy theories agreed and i put out an article regarding conspiracy theories here i'll link it up to you guys i'll tell you what i called it all right because people use this 
to dismiss right so let me find the article what did I call it and I, this is like a different iteration of something that I put out in the early or mid 2000s I believe uh, here I call this uh, this is the article it's, it's titled Noam Chomsky a conspiracy theorist of the highest magnitude defining conspiracy conspiracy theory what are the theories behind the conspiracies okay and I put this out in 2013 but uh, this is an iteration of a of a piece that I think I put out in 2007 or something like this okay so that's my opinion regarding conspiracy theories uh, I almost missed this hello Chicho hey Martin how are you doing how's life <laughs> welcome to a morning stream I've got a politics question for you Chicho if uh, you were to uh, suddenly become Prime Minister of Canada what new laws would you try and implement very curious to hear what you'd said I uh, think people have asked me this before and I know exactly what I would do if I was a leader of any government I would call all the lawmakers into a meeting and I would say what are the laws in our country bring all the books here and it would be like stocks of books right and first order of business would be this start form little committees of three people right three five people something odd and start and I would this is exactly what I would say I would say form your committees okay each committee takes one of these books and you start going through them and circle highlight highlight which laws we should be repealing eliminating laws I would not be passing laws okay making new laws my first order of business if I became leader of anything right would be to take laws off the books and the reason you want the committees to be odd and ideally you want five right per personally seven right and if four out of seven said that the law should be repealed should be removed okay you re maybe we should put a little thing four out of seven say that the law should be removed we'll discuss this with two other committees so there's three committees deciding this and if two of the committees uh decide to remove it then you remove it if five out of seven think it should be removed remove it if six out of seven or five or more say it should be removed you remove it or you could put it some kind of scale system if all seven say it should be removed remove it if six say it should be removed you put it as look to with another committee if six whatever scale system is my first order of business would be to remove laws not to pass laws guaranteed guaranteed utah jazz i agree with you about censorship and free speech for the most part at least in terms of what governments should allow canada is actually much worse at it than the u.s in my opinion at the same time though i'm not sure if that should include private platforms um censorship private platforms um, we have to define private right we have to pro uh, defend private <laughs> you don't just we have to define define the word private what does that mean are the isps uh in canada private hell no taxpayers created the infrastructure that the internet functions on why are private families allowed to take all the profits out of that that's crazy right i know one of the members of a private isp family the shaw family right or rogers one of them anyway where their kids get an allowance of a hundred thousand dollars a month that's like what that's taxpayer money that built that infrastructure these people these family was just in charge of it why are their kids being given hundred thousand dollars a month and millions of dollars a year to party to live it up while we're being charged ridiculous amount crazy right what is private the taxpayers fund it 
if taxpayers fund it it's no longer private the reason I asked is I feel a recession is coming uh, I feel I could hedge others uh, other losses by investing in gold and sell during the recession because the dollar gets weaker Hannah I don't think the dollar is gonna get weaker the US dollar anyway I think the Canadian dollar is gonna get weaker I think the US dollar is gonna get stronger reading it out conspiracy theory is a guilty pleasure of mine uh, for me too you touch on I love conspiracy theories right and many conspiracy theories I have read and you do the research you find out they're conspiracy facts they're f facts about events where people conspire to do something and they did it some of the conspiracy theories out there have proven to be facts they have they they played out exactly the way or very close to the way that people said that it was being played out right all you have to do is just read WikiLeaks some of the releases they've done regarding that right people don't like uh, disagreements nowadays which is weird since it's the only way you can logically arrive to the most coherent solution in anything uh, chase uh, Jesse what I would give a little stipulation to this I don't think the centralized power likes disagreement right now our stream right now X how are you doing <laughs> right now this stream that we're doing how many people do we have here let's see how many people do we have we got 24 people here right we have people coming in and out right and I'm a low 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 on the totem pole on twitch right I you know I've only been on here like a year and a bit right year let's say right so right now on this little low platform we have where we're talking online and stuff that disproves what you're saying people don't like disagreements nowadays we're here to talk there's people who disagree Dante and uh, Hannah I believe are disagreeing on something right I agree with some of majority of one person says less of another person regarding a certain topic I agree with what reverse on the other way I don't think people like disagreement I think people love dialogue discourse discussion challenging learning investigating informing yourself feeling seeing what the other person's perspective is centralized power doesn't like disagreement that's why we're seeing censorship there's a small minority which are fools and tools those are the loud people that are saying silence this person silence this person those are the first ones that would turn on the switch to burn people right those are the people that are going to be pulling the trigger to silence people right don't listen to the fanatics forget about the fanatics forget about what centralized power says we we are what matters right and if they're trying to silence us that matters Alex Jones the comedian <laughs> well said Turing news very interesting I had a few ideas of laws I would add can you elaborate on what laws you would remove sounded like you had a few or at least some topics in mind well one of the ones that I've I've been working towards I've been contributing towards which is to end prohibition right and I don't think legalization is the answer to ending prohibition ending prohibition is removing criminal 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 removing the laws prohibiting human beings from experiencing life the way they, the way they want to experience it right so the first law I would remove is prohibition number one gone there is others but we'll leave that alone for now I should li live in uh, Nicholas Northern Ireland oh you live in Northern Ireland Nicholas for some reason I, I was like wow you flew yesterday at <laughs> what was it in the evening to the United States and you're already on a stream I'm like dude Northern Ireland cool I've been there Belfast as you know of course North America was just a stop off ah okay how did you find uh, UKGE I don't know what UKGE 
that's always the way it goes with technological advancements i was specifically thinking of youtube if someone publishes their own um, their own website i think they should be able to say whatever they want i agree and youtube as well google uh, they're you know youtube is a funny place uh, we have to be careful with that uh, is it a public platform did google get a lot of government funding to do what they're they're doing they did uh is google uh, is this you know even on twitch is this information traveling through public utilities it is so it's like a highway right that's been built uh, can they can any centralized power buy that highway that was built by taxpayer money and control the flow of traffic based on if they like what you have to say or based on what you're transporting from one location to another location some think they do right across borders in the united across state borders in the u.s you can't transport certain things and it's like a huge crime so is that the way we want to treat youtube uh information i don't know i uh, i tend to disagree with that states uh, do the groundwork and let rich people reap the profits afterwards yeah in a big way dante i agree with you i don't agree with youtube doing that by the way i thought it was worth bringing up though yeah for sure utah i agree it's worth bringing up censorship is always worth bringing up sadly no how come i haven't had the time been very busy at work that's the ng i don't know what that is the only person i agree with 100 percent uh of the time is myself <laughs> i i disagree with myself sometimes the day after thinking about something how funny though you tell jazz i even disagree with myself and <laughs> that's what <laughs> him him says him uh worry him a worry uh, okay man you uh understandable work is important very good point did you go how boring would the world be if everyone agreed about everything agreed agreed it'd be horrendous pretty boring to be honest yeah i mainly come to the stream to relax and disagree with things if one day i start agreeing with everything i hear read i'll have lost the capacity to think great great thing to say lasagna good comment and by the way gang thank you for the follows uh thank you for the twitch uh, uh subscriptions uh if you're here if i haven't noticed it if i haven't mentioned it sometimes i go off and things pop and i'm in the middle of a sentence I, I if i interrupt it it's lost right so or middle of middle of a thought so thank you for being here thank you for participating thank you for subscribing thank you for the cheers like starbucks sells coffee with water consumed from public resources yeah have a good day all got to go into work on a weekend enjoy your work uh weekend skywalker hope is a good hope you're doing what you love or i hope it's quick and easy sort of a random topic but do you think that uh, churches should be tax exempt no i don't think they necessarily should be especially if they try to affect political change yeah and they do and no they shouldn't be tax exempt any institution should not be tax exempt no centralized institution should be tax exempt why should they be tax exempt those churches compete with compete for property with citizens of the country who are paying taxes those churches compete with human beings institutions compete with individuals for everything right they try to dictate things they try to change government policy why are they tax exempt that is ridiculous why are we not tax exempt if anything we should be tax exempt and the institutions should be taxed those centralized powers should be taxed even more people should be tax exempt okay sure corporations taxed okay random but i've been thinking that over yeah 
Utah Jazz, I, I'm in full agreement. Say we had the 2008 banking crisis all over again. Let's uh, think, let's call it the 2008 scam. Largest theft in human history. It's not a banking crisis or, yeah, it's not a banking crisis. It was the largest theft in human history that we know of right now. And in our present civilization, right? People have said that we shouldn't bail out the banks, but if the individuals have all moved the money elsewhere, what can you do? let the economy crash take the bankers uh, valuables and make them homeless there is another option i'm not saying um, the option is hold them accountable punish them put them in jail seize their assets okay our economy is a bubble economy is a theft-based economy okay so what they did in 2008 it's not what they did in 2000 it's the build up to 2008 it took it like a decade if not more to reach that point right it was slow theft, slow theft slow theft, slow theft da, 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 da. 2008 poof, right it became obvious it was just like what robo signing fake signing scamming lying cheating stealing uh, using the police using centralized enforcers to take people's property to take people's assets seizing assets seizing bank. it was the lord we wrote about this it was the largest theft in human history it was not a banking crisis that needs to be cleared up and what they did in the united states was they took those people who committed these crimes and they put them in power that was the obama administration right they put them in charge of the united states government right so for the last 12 years you've seen disparity the rich getting extremely richer and the poor getting poorer middle class dropping off the off the cliff right people going in more debt inflation through the roof right not that the cpi counts for it right housing good bubble right all that money they gave to the people who committed the crime tax-free and those people use the money to buy all the assets land houses build uh, hedge funds and institutions corporations on wall street to buy properties and become uh, make people uh, uh what do you call that uh, servants really serfdom really right it wasn't a banking crisis it was the largest theft in human history People should be held accountable. The first order of business is to hold those people who committed these crimes accountable. It's like people who go to war, wage war, and commit war crimes. The first order of any society is to hold war criminals accountable. If, if a society doesn't hold war criminals accountable, that society has collapsed, period. Okay? It is garbage okay the law means nothing war criminals must be held accountable okay those people who did the theft for the largest theft in human history they have to be held accountable if power is not held accountable you live in a totalitarian state and it might look, it might look rosy right now but you're headed down a dark road take it to the limit what you learn from mathematics you take it to the limit in the limit it's very 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 dark right that that's what should have been done think my opinion right I've got to leave too thanks for popping by the great lasagna great question I wish you well I hope everything works out have a nice day everyone see you on the next stream Chicho. see you next time lasagna you can take many millions from bankers and they still wouldn't be homeless <coughs> you could take you could take hundreds of billions away from bankers and they wouldn't be homeless. <coughs> nice. Thank you, Dante. I saw something being held back from Nicholas. I want to approve it. We don't even know how much money a certain powerful religion here has. You can probably guess what it is because they are tax exempt. When 90% of the state 
uh, government officials are directly influenced by them that's very troubling Utah Jazz I agree Here, here's one thing regarding the churches right so all this pedophilia has become forefront in the last 20 years regarding the Catholic Church the Catholic powerhouse Lord how are you doing Catholic powerhouse right Vatican there are trillions they own trillions trillions of dollars of wealth gold bank accounts land art trillions right like as far as I know the Vatican is the richest institution in the world okay and when all this pedophilia stuff hit the front stage the corporate entity of the Catholic Church in California I don't I can't remember if it was all of California or region and uh, county in California I think it was it, it wasn't Los Angeles I think it was all of California the corporate institution that represented the Catholic Church in California liquidated their bank accounts and their assets so they could declare bankruptcy so all the people that were suing them because the priests the bishops the archbishops that were molesting their children right hundreds upon hundreds of kids were abused right this institution in california declared bankruptcy so they wouldn't have to pay anything to the victims of the priests and the bishops and the archbishops right and that institution is tax exempt chew that for a while right why is this not on corporate propagandist machines right wow man holy kamoli what what and people still go to church and give them teethings feelings or whatever it is they still give them money they give them money for it's it's the most ludicrous thing really it just blows me every time i think about this it's just my god what one of them craziest really do a search on on online about a video uh tethys tethys thanks dante one of the videos you can you can look at and it'll bring tears to your eyes right it's an irish man okay on a talk show okay and he's part of the audience and there's an archbishop they're talking to and stuff like this and he starts saying what the priests did to him and his friends when they were boys in Ireland okay and I remember this because he he used the word buggered he goes they buggered me they and he's he's like 70 years old and he's crying his wife's beside him like wow wow incredible right and those institutions are tax exempt really should Dick Cheney be tax exempt probably yes cheers Chicho. wasn't sure if that would go through okay yeah Dante approved it Nicholas I'm just gonna get caught up again uh, in the 70s the bottom 50% made double that of the 1% today the 1% earns more than double of the bottom 50 yeah your streams like therapy <laughs> thanks Hans. and the in shuns would Nordic, Nordic socialism work in the US I don't know depends it's a it's, uh, uh, I don't know like Norway um, the oils right they're one of the largest the fund uh, um, that they have for the people they nationalized the oil I think it's Norway anyway uh, they nationalized the oil back in the 70s right and they took all the money and put it into the stock markets and stuff like Norway's I forget what the fund is called uh, that controls the money that they have gotten from uh, the oil and northern oil reserves and stuff like this that institution is the largest holder of stocks in the world right that's what they were able to do with the resources of the nation and every Norwegian person gets a certain amount of money sent to them every year how come Canada didn't do this right why are we punishing other socialist countries for nationalizing the oil one of them being Iran in 1950 
uh, three winning national 53 57 winning national as it were with Mozadek and the mi6 and mi6 and cia overthrew democratically uh, the government because they're national crazy right would it work in the united states i don't know it's a good model martin i did indeed made the local news though i don't know if you heard so uk games expo chicho uk games expo chicho is uk ge oh uk games expo okay cool thanks nicholas one of the people signed up to be a games master and help tell a story during the role play he apparently didn't tell his players what was involved and proceeded to explain in detail how all the players were being gang raped he apparently has a history of of this so he was banned from uh, ukge and i think it's now a police investigation but don't quote me on it. wow that's crazy and he was doing this live during the the gaming expo nicholas wow cheers i wasn't sure hey lord nicholas says oh my god i need to look into this yeah i didn't know this either uh nicholas crap my internet bleep blipped and i missed a little bit of the answer i was about to express my concern with letting a government take apart people's lives when they see fit sounds like with a little push you've got 1950s russia where anyone that upsets the totalitarian state is removed pretty much think julian assange removed right i'll check the vod so don't worry if you already explained it sorry yeah i think i'm not sure where we left off think i'm actually a protestant so i naturally really don't like vatican city and the church in general <laughs> yeah check it out cool cool thanks for the info nicholas i didn't know this i my students haven't mentioned this i have students that love gaming and they didn't see this but they're they're in canada so maybe they didn't follow the uk stuff I was annoyed when so many people donated to repair Notre Dame. I don't think the Roman Catholic Church needs the money. No, that was all. That was propaganda and the foolish little, uh, foolish people, individuals, to make themselves feel better donated. Uh, but majority of those money would came from their own people, right? And tax exempt. <laughs> Wealth is like seawater. The more you drink, the more thirsty you become gentlemen that's a great chase that's a great saying wealth is like seawater the more you drink the more thirsty you become gentlemen i like that i'm gonna start using that hopefully i'll retain it say it again later in another stream usually three or four times we need to something to sink in norway is oil rich but sweden is also doing well without oil nordic socialism is not really socialism though it's social democracy cool but it's still vastly superior to america <laughs> hyper capitalism for sure many things are superior to hyper uh u.s style of hyper capitalism live yeah live he talked about that how long did it go before they cut him off give it search later and you will see he apparently got a thrill out of their reaction witnesses said oh my god they were showing the players faces while he was explaining this of course yeah what oh my god I gotta remember to look this up. I don't even know if I want to look this up, man. And the players must have been youth, teenagers, eh? Yeah, I found it. He has been banned, but can't find anything on a police investigation. All the billionaires that donated are getting their money back through the back door, hundred percent, hundred percent. They're getting art donations of Picassos and Da Vinci and whatnot, right? Oh, you gave a hundred million dollars to rebuild. Oh, here is a three hundred million dollar Picasso painting, and you get it as a gift, and then they write it off as another donation. So, hundred million dollar donation that they write off from their taxes turns into a three hundred million dollar gift to that institution, 
Meanwhile, the institution that gifted that gift to that person that gifted the gift to them gets a $300 million tax write-off gift. Welcome to the 2008 scam, theft, right? financial crisis. By the way, I was t uh, talking about the Mormon church, but I agree with your thoughts on the Catholic church too. Yeah, all churches, even the Armenian church. I don't think the Armenian church should be tax exempt either. I'm non partisan. <laughs> that part may just have been uh, speculation gossip then about the police getting involved. What if the Notre Dame fire was staged knowing that uh, we'll start an income stream for the gullible conspiracy theory? No, I think that's. Is it a conspiracy theory? I don't know. Personally, I think, I think that will turn out to be conspiracy fact years from now maybe if the arsonists have not disappeared already or been suicided right so our country should have gone after the bankers and war criminals but not after julian assange there's a moral compass here that's completely broken from the power uh for the powers that be yeah now all i can see uh, now is uh, frodo baggins being <laughs> Oh my god, Martin. It's a pretty huge event. So while I was I was there, I didn't see it. But yeah, players sit down and play and the crowd watches it. So the dude was loving it. It was ne near the end of the day before the event so organizers removed him. Wow, wow, wow. How do you maintain a healthy diet, Chicho? Um I buy locally I, brought, I buy fruits and vegetables uh, as much as I can that is in season I buy organic non GMO uh, no pest you know as few pesticides if I can help it uh, no hormone meat uh, dairy and stuff like this uh, I do long walks I don't binge eat Hannah I don't binge drink anymore Hannah uh, I take time off for a clear conscience uh, even though I haven't meditated for a while now I've been really busy loving what I'm doing but I will during the summer at the beach and stuff and get my thoughts together because I'm organizing a lot of work as well so uh, I make sure I give myself a certain amount of downtime I try not to be in debt uh, um, that way I can afford good food so I cook a lot in the kitchen i've learned uh, i apprentice under my mom to learn how to cook right so i know how to manage myself in the kitchen and i'm happy with simple foods i don't need complicated foods i don't go out to restaurants anymore very much the reason i ask uh, is i have let my diet get away from me and my body is paying the price uh, get your diet in order brother get your diet in order very very important the number one bit of advice I had for people for my personal finance videos health health is the number one reason people go into financial crisis I don't care if you're a poor person a middle class rich or uber rich okay health is the number one cause of financial difficulties okay the uber rich I've known I know some of them right I've known uber rich super rich that would have paid everything they had for better health okay health is your number one priority without a doubt without a doubt i'm gonna throw in a no dairy comment milk is evil a uh, milk yeah I, I don't drink milk i eat yogurt yogurt and cheese yogurt has good bacteria that's good for the tummy okay cheese has good bacteria as well good cheese and organic organic non-hormone yogurt cheese butter butter is good i eat butter i like milk yeah i don't drink milk anymore i don't uh there's a period that, there's a period i could never drink white milk i would only drink chocolate milk when i was a kid and then i started drinking milk 
and I liked it and I like chocolate uh, milk chocolate and stuff like this and then it just the thought of drinking milk now is oh god it doesn't work are the cows up to <laughs> something according to uh, far side they are milk is a great source of calcium there's a catch to, ca to the calcium but I don't uh, I remember what it was. Yeah, I think cheese is a great source of calcium. From I think so anyway. My girlfriend thinks I am not getting enough mixed greens. I think she's right. Probably like for for us, Hannah, you want you want a f sure way to improve your diet that will remind you every week to eat good food. Okay, is find a CSA in your area community supported agriculture in your area and participate in that and every week you go and pick up your greens your vegetables right and all of a sudden you don't have to go shop for your greens and vegetables and in season and make sure it's like organic well local farm and stuff like this they don't use pesticides and all that jazz right find it and automatically every week you're going to get greens that are going to go into your fridge and all of a sudden you're going to see a lot of greens and vegetables there and at some point you're going to start eating them some of them might go back bad but at some point you're going to start eating it and that's going to kick you into gear of eating healthier okay eliminate colas pop it's definitely a fact that milk is not very nutritious the milk industry has lied about it for decades with biased studies. Cows are, are innocent victims. Leave them alone, Martin says. <laughs> there could be many doctors that say adults shouldn't even be drinking milk. Yeah, there are many, many adults that say don't drink milk if you're an adult, right? But that doesn't mean they are correct, obviously, for sure. But for me, I am lactose intolerant, so no dairy uh, for me anyway. Can you even about <laughs> the cows leave them alone? <laughs> Jason's is like laughing. Can you even imagine how ridiculous the very first caveman to drink uh, from a cow was? <laughs> See, for me, I don't know. Would cavemen drink from cows? Maybe they saw the calves drinking because they needed all the food they could get, right? And the milk they drank from a cow straight out it would have probably made them sick right there's a lot of bacteria in that i don't know probably not actually i'm, I'm, I'm comparing it to our lives now, right now the cavemen their bacteria they're probably strong as as an ox saying goes i don't know their immune system was probably ridiculously high right i have a major reaction to milk protein almost killed me a few years ago wow really Oof. Poor Betsy the cow. Ident identifying triggers for bad eating habits is the first step to good eating habits. Ah, fluid, good advice. Once you know them, alter your response by creating new habits. Awesome. Habits are more powerful for behavior modification than diets because they are subconscious actions. Awesome. Fluid AI. Thank you for the comment. Thank you for the comment that's great advice great advice habit change your habits one of the habits stop drinking colas stop drinking pop really that's one of the greatest things i ever did in my life stop drinking pop stop drinking cola specifically most adults are at least mildly lactose intolerant but most uh, most either don't realize it or ignore it i want to make some uh sort of cashew salad yum yum wow that's extreme glad my reaction is not that bad avoid it at all at all costs man yeah milk protein wow milk protein powder i guess yeah nuts are the answer keep you full enough to not uh, start snacking at night yeah and drink water water is underrated if you're hungry sometimes 
the only reason you're hungry is because you're thirsty right so drink water sometimes sip it sometimes pound it right i'm sorry to say it i'm a soy boy soya i wish there were low sugar alcohol options i enjoy getting shikart shikart but there's a lot of sugar and booze yeah any ideas entheogens Entheogens, and I agree with you. Alcohol sugar content is very destructive. Chicho, definitely agree there, bro. I drink a gallon of water daily. Yeah, water is so underrated, so underrated, so underrated, ridiculously so, right? Ridiculously so. I just don't know if I can trust cannabis at the moment. Don't know how my body will react. Uh, then don't do, Anna. Uh, just reduce the amount of alcohol. Alcohol is very destructive, brother. Really. I'm old enough to have seen people get destroyed by alcohol. Don't make alcohol a daily routine in your life. Not even a weekly routine in your life and if you can do it every few years not even a monthly or multi-month routine in your life i've gone there's been periods in my life where i haven't taken a sip of alcohol for over a year okay really alcohol is very very destructive first thing in the morning i drink at least 50 milliliters of water yeah and water with a little bit of lemon in there too is very good just lemon uh, fresh squeezed lemon i'm not anti-cannabis though i uh though legalize it yeah yeah and it's not for everyone brother hannah it's not for everyone really the, don't get me like i my intention is not to promote cannabis my intention is to say figure out what you your body uh, works with right two gallons for me at the moment at the moment wow but i'm on uh creatine creatine i don't know what creatine i know that i can't remember what that is creatine creatine uh almost certainly like everyone else you get a little relax with the right amount mix water with real lemons yeah i will reduce your sugar in the blood oh does it it's it's good for digestion uh, i like that it's good for the bloodstream i didn't realize it reduces sugar in your blood and one of the things i do i haven't done actually for the last couple of years uh, but i've shown in my previous videos like a few years ago uh, i do exactly what uh, uh, Himawari says I take lemons and put them in a jar and put water not too much you don't need too much but it basically becomes lemon water and some of the oil from the lemon gets in there the oil doesn't mix with lemon uh, with water but you can taste it the bitterness of it right and drink that especially in the summer like just get fresh lemon water from the fridge cold drink it delicious alcohol is not that bad in small quantities in very small but your body dante uh, i fully believe that your body needs extended periods not consuming alcohol maybe days weeks months and i feel the same way about cannabis and anything else right two gallons how are you finding uh, that i was thinking upping it uh, but heard uh, anything over one could be dangerous uh, it can't be distilled water you can't drink uh, because water is an amazing way to take 
minerals out of something right so if you're drinking distilled water uh, you can't drink distilled water it's not good for you uh, it's just h2o but it removes minerals from your body so you have to be careful i think what type of water you're drinking if you're drinking a lot of water there's got to be you have to replenish your minerals or it has to be mineral water there's got to be minerals in there i went on a beautiful walk with my girlfriend uh late last night and we came across a wild fennel plant nice it smelled amazing and grew about 2.5 feet tall nice and we have a fennel growing here too and when we go for walks you can eat it it's really good and at the end of the summer you can harvest the fennel seeds and we do that as well and it's amazing really a health and uh, enthusiast told me that that too uh, didn't know it actually helped it was beautiful and I, and I want to plant some in my garden a fennel grows like math Hannah it's really good and fennel seeds you can use for cooking and fennel you can use for cooking it's fantastic fennel and yogurt and fennel and meats and stuff I had a bad habit of ordering takeout online it was just so convenient but I would later feel very regretful yeah I've gone through that too Chase <laughs> ever since I stopped and instead returned to wholesome natural foods my energy has dramatically improved yeah e even this the laziness of it we've done it as well and it's you're eating it just amazing and every now and then it's okay but and then you start going oh that wasn't very good the next day you pay the price your tummy's all wacko home cooked food is the best i replace soda with uh seltzer water and lime nice it's just as satisfying with none of the calories or sugar awesome utah it can be got to space it out and watch your salt intake house of necklace or i should say my parents garden i can't afford to move out need more cash damn it your parents will appreciate fennel for sure i hate the taste of alcohol but i like the buzz it gives me in social situations makes the conversations flow more easily that it does that it does removes inhibition salt essential is essential for life if you take your salt from processed food then it is not good i use the uh, sea salt crystals yeah i love sea salt as well have a worry i'm a big drinker uh, can't drink can drink 12 pints in one session but i do work in a pub yeah martin i know how you feel i've i've hit that level and, and more there's a period where i could drink a 26 or a vodka in a day right not a 26 or and a half i would peak at not good not good not good at all and then i would stop cold turkey right that was my sign to me that you need to stop and i would stop and i would stop cold turkey it was difficult right i haven't done that for a long time now last time i went through some phase like that was uh, a long time ago more than a decade ago and i don't think i'll ever go back to it christ how long one session that'll take me about 12 hours anyone who says they drink alcohol for the taste is lying i disagree utah i've made i make amazing liqueurs dude <laughs> like the pomegranate liqueur the cherry liqueur the blackberry liqueur the oh the lemon liqueur mm, dude it tastes amazing utah it tastes amazing right might stick with one for now bro was hard enough getting used to it uh first uh, couple of days i couldn't uh stay too far from a toilet is this uh what is this related to i don't know uh oh i don't know what the food thing was i missed something nicholas what's on top for you today chicho after the stream i love the early morning weekend stream it's a great way to start my day cool cool in the world of thoughts and ideas yeah uh, i haven't been uh, drinking uh too much of the liqueurs lately i've sort of taken a because i made the pomegranates and uh, and the other stuff and i was drinking a fair bit so i said okay too much stop so maybe in the last month two months i've had like a couple of drinks 
So I don't plan on having any drinks today. Uh, I don't think so. Actually, we've, we've drank a little bit of port. We opened up a bottle of port in the last week and I've been sipping a little bit of port and I've been taking port and pouring club soda on it. So I've been having like, a, because it's been hot here, so I've been having sort of a little bit of port with club soda in it. So it's more like a pop thing uh, with the port flavor and it's like nice port organic. They don't use pesticides and stuff. Really appreciate it. Thanks, brother. Uh, a session for me is 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. Yeah. Pub, pub sessions. I love my coffee with a pinch of uh, sea salt and coconut oil. Yum, yum. Don't drink spirits, just cider. Yeah, spirits are hard on the body. And beer is hard on the tummy. The water, Chicho. That's what I meant. Oh, the water. Okay, cool. So, might stick with one for now, bro. Was hard enough getting used to it. One uh, uh, first couple of days, I couldn't uh, stay too far from the. Oh, okay, that's what it is. The water. So two gallons. So one gallon of water. Yeah. Buy on top. Uh, buy on top. I meant what uh, you have going on today after the stream. Oh, okay. Outside a. Uh, uh, how house okay sorry i should have phrased that better uh i got a couple of students i gotta meet up one of them is a marathon session we're gonna do like three hours um he's actually this uh the student i just met up is you know towards the end and uh he's actually coming to england he's a soccer player he got picked up to a feeder club that's gonna feed one of the clubs so i'm gonna do mathematics um and uh I gotta set the video comic book haul video to process I get I'm towards the end I gotta watch it again if it's okay it looks okay I don't think I missed anything because I go through iterations of editing stuff out so we might have a comic book haul video e up either today or tomorrow okay so I got students gonna do some mathematics gonna clean up the house a little bit and while the computer processes or uploads we'll see We'll see. Expect a comic book haul video out either today or tomorrow if all goes well. We're 95% there. So what did I miss? Starsky, how's it going? Wow, must be an athlete. Have you heard of the band uh, Eration? I don't think so. They're a really good uh, reggae pop band. Good music. No, I've never heard of it. Eration. I've gone through reggae periods. I haven't listened, listened to reggae too much lately. Uh, one tree, how one tree? There's two albums that uh, is it Damien Marley that put out uh, a jam rock. Welcome to Jam Rock was a fantastic album, and the album he put before that, One Tree, One Tree House, that was better than uh, Welcome to Jam Rock. Uh, and during that period I was looping some reggae and and uh, some Caribbean hip-hop and stuff like this uh, yeah reggae not a more I'll check them out oh yeah for sure one tree here let me find it uh, jam rock one tree is it called one tree Marley, it's from one of the Marley brothers. It's by Damien Marley, I guess. Jam rock, reggae, one tree, Damien Marley. Come on, Damien Marley. Hopefully, we're not losing the bibliography. Uh, Wait a second. No, discography. Halfway Tree. So Halfway Tree was a phenomenal album. This album was... I might start listening to this again. This album. Halfway Tree. West Coast Classic. 
<laughs> is it halfway tree and welcome to Jamrock, or are we talking about eration let me look up eration maybe i've seen him is this the white guy with uh serious uh dreadlocks eration eration if i see there no i don't know eration santa barbara california i'm gonna bookmark this thank you for the recommendation just hold it take a look I'll read through it i added it to my iphone and apple music i will listen to it cool did chicho ever upload the 80s music uh play session stream he did Ch -ch -ch -ch. was bloody awesome but i think it's gone now it should be up tank is that it should be i think it should be up let's check it out let's check it out that was great that was a great session uh let's see if we can find it just through a search i think it's this one let's take a look at one of them talk music is it this one maybe is it this one what well, it's starting did he no, it wasn't this one. Is it? No, these are the albums. Where is it? Okay, I'll have to find. If you remind me. Uh, that was a great session. It should be in my music playlist. Uh, Is this playlist by me? Oh no, man, I should be paying attention to the chat and now you got me going. Music playlist. Here's a music playlist. I think it should be there somewhere, brother. Eration, they put out a album in 2018 that is called Eration. Oh, okay, cool really good check it out uh, it has a black and gold colored album cover okay i'll look at i'll look for their uh, uh their thing thanks for the recommendation hannah i found some of you showing your collection but i remember you just letting it jab for like two hours and was amazing yeah um maybe i put it on bit shoot uh, Tink, if you can't find it, uh, if you got access to Discord, uh, just post a comment in Discord, and uh, just in case I don't remember, and I'll remember to find it and link it up. Uh, it might have been just something we put on uh, BitChute, um, but I think I put it on YouTube as well. I'm going to try and eat more various salads going forward. Salad for breakfast and lunch. Cool. Sans thoughts on the illegal immigration situation in the United States. Should the U.S. let more immigrant, illegal immigrants in? Uh, take care, Chicho. Take care. Take care, Chase. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. The the illegal immigration thing, the refugee thing, the immigration thing, the buying of visas thing, the corporations laundering money thing, they're all connected, right? So illegal is a catchphrase it's anna it's it's wacko right what's going on with the refugees and tremendous number of refugees and stuff like this my belief is this you break it you buy it right a lot of the reason that there's mass inflow of refugees and people seeking asylum and illegal immigrants and people who are taking advantage and uh human traffickers or whatever it is right the reason it's happening is because the western world has bombed to oblivion numerous countries in the global south and they have no place to live so they're moving and we've funded death squads and dictators and and whatnot so it's, it's a complex situation my number one thing is you want to stop or reduce the amount of 
inflow of refugees, illegal immigrants, uh, migrants, uh, uh, slave trade, human traffickers, and all the money launderers and all this stuff, stop bombing other countries and hold war criminals accountable. Once Western countries start holding war criminals accountable, we're going to see a huge improvement in the global situation. Okay. Wasn't the U.S. built by illegal immigrants yet? The history of U.S. immigration is gruesome and the media barely talks about it yep agreed Dante agreed found it I'll check uh, I'll give it a link but twitch may block it oh yeah it blocks it I think that's the video but if you can please post it on uh, on discord okay that'd be awesome we'll do that again we'll do that type of thing again on uh, uh, on uh, on twitch music stream where we're just playing music and chilling you know i can play music and do things and lay things out right we'll talk about them who are the war criminals who are the war criminals <laughs> where should we start <laughs> where should we start let's start from the early 1990s bush senior bill clinton bush jr obama trump okay hillary clinton uh, cheney rumsfeld wolfowitz war criminals war criminals liam how you doing i said u.s imperialism hey chicho kissinger kissinger dante kissinger i can't believe that guy's still breathing any mods want to drop me to this drop me the discord um tink if you scroll down actually let's see discord if you do discord this court there's a discord link think thank you casey for setting these up the music video is on bit shoot behind the scenes live stream schedule music mermaid comic books the playlist is not uh no uh no longer on youtube oh okay cool so it's not in the youtube yeah i guess i didn't load it on because youtube censorship and copyright stuff i just don't want to tell and i'm i don't want to take the risk right and i'm intolerant of that and we have bit you to share that stuff right we do and uh, twitch by the way uh muted out certain parts of that video when the video was live on twitch because the music had copyright claims on them and stuff right who aren't the war criminals who aren't the war criminals me and you right assange manning they're not the war criminals right many people in jail are not the war criminals the more criminals are running governments right now and Wall Street <clears throat> Peyton Manning I don't know who Peyton is Chelsea Manning Chelsea Manning right there are many war criminals in our Blair Sarkozy Merkel Look up Python Manning. Okay, let me look this up. Whoop. Since we're not crashing. Who's that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> What's this guy? Is a former American football quarterback who played 18 seasons in National Football League. So is a football player? I don't know that person. I don't watch him. I'm kidding. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> I brought, by the way, I brought for a snack, I brought apple today and a knife. I was going to eat some apple, but I got busy. Maybe we'll munch on some apple. I used a, uh, I cut up apple on my fruit, so I put them, if I put them in a the fridge, 
like this I put it like this air usually makes the apples go a little bit brown whatever beans exposed to air yum yeah yeah we get the best apple put in the Pacific Northwest for those of you that want to know me and Hannah live in a region Hannah is in the United States I'm in Canada but the region is called the Pacific Northwest we get great apples here really good apples mm. BC too we got lots of apples there's apple trees growing wild so if you know the place you can go pick up apples off the trees and eat them good old Tony Trump is a colonel no way oh yeah Trump too <laughs> it's more like Jesus well, Trump is not as big of a war criminal as Obama or Bush jr. and all that jazz he is but not as big as them great apples and farms in eastern Washington I love that area beautiful lakes lakes views and produce nice also great pears great pears too here yeah very christ like <laughs> dante says <laughs> trump the orange color it must be the orange in the hair brutal people man those people are brutal people pink ladies the apple i think pink ladies is the apple type right apple love apple delicious apple so we're coming on two hours gang yeah maybe you are right with obama and, uh, and war stuff yeah yeah luna horrendous 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 should we call the stream gang i gotta go teach some students some mathematics and take a look at the video and get it uploading hopefully hopefully i don't have to process it again okay it's a good it's a good video i liked it it made me crack up <laughs> wonder if you're uh down to do a stream during the week during the day yeah hannah we will be right now I'm just crazy busy with students right so i haven't had a time to stream during the week but uh i got another two weeks of school left with my students after that we're going to start streaming during the weekdays during the day evening morning my time opens up chicho army <laughs> great stream chicho thank you my pleasure thank you for being here great stream fantastic it's lots of fun once summer break comes all the good stuff happens yeah pretty much <laughs> the rest of it is good too as long as you're not in school right but uh it's good another great stream of the books thank you chicho my pleasure hannah thank you for being here thank you for the discussions everyone dante thank you for everything thank you for taking care of business thank you for the dialogue thank you for the discourse i'm very happy that we don't all agree on it and everything really i really appreciate that that way we know we're not in a bubble chamber right we're not echoing we're not freaking out we're talking we're discussing we're helping we're sharing information we're bringing in different perspectives that's what these streams i was hoping they would be and i'm so happy they are really i'm really happy they are i didn't uh, i didn't know where this was going to go i'm very happy that we're in this state okay and that's thanks to you guys gang okay aside from that hope you guys have a fantastic weekend have you ever watched the show in impractical jokers no you would enjoy it it's a hidden camera show i've seen some other hidden camera shows right now i'm limited on time and i'm watching brilliant stuff have a nice day you show you too dante have a nice day gang hope you have a fantastic fantastic weekend video most likely up in either today or tomorrow and then i'll catch up on uploading these live streams to bitchute and youtube with the math stuff and then we're streaming again most likely next weekend okay have a great weekend bye for now take care starsky